Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are back in the A300F. We're going to be flying with UPS and we're going to take this aircraft from Denver over to Ontario. Ontario is a pretty big UPS hub and a lot of their A300s fly into there. Uh, so I thought this would be a pretty fitting flight. This is also operated in real life as UPS 2803. It's uh, currently New Year's Eve. Um, the sun just set and uh, we should be seeing some fireworks pretty soon once we uh, land into Ontario so that should be pretty cool. Um, we have ground power hooked up to the aircraft as you can see we got some lights on right now um, but we need to call for all the cargo to get loaded onto the aircraft so uh, without further ado let's enter into the flight deck and get ready for our flight to Ontario. to the flight deck we got our dumb light on and external power and batteries are on currently uh, let's go ahead and arm our emergency exit lights get seat belts on and we're gonna align our IRS's alright our doors are starting to get opened up let's head on over to the uh, EFB All right, and, uh, import from Simbrief. It's good there. Weight and balance. We're just gonna apply that load real quick. Also, think we can get some lights on in here. Let's go to menu, a cars, and brief, and we're gonna get our flight plan uplink. Cost index is gonna be 15. Flight ID is gonna be UPS 2803. Zero fuel weight. It's going to be 248.2. It's going to be 28.4 on the zero for weight CG. Flight plan we are taking runway 25 out. With the Connor 7. And the Werner transition. And the inserts. To Ontario. We're taking the Jackie 2 and ILS 26 lefts with the Nate transition. Our boarding uh, has completed. We're going to get our APU on. Starting up, we need our takeoff performance. So we're going to sync this, taking it off of runway 25. And we're going to calculate flex temperature is going to be 63, V1 155, VR 163, and V2 163. And we're going to be using no trim 155 for V1 163. We're going to set our V2 speed of 163 here and our initial cruise altitude to flight level 360. Alright, we should be done with everything in the flight deck for our pre flight. I'm going to go ahead and head outside to do our exterior walk around.
right walk around is complete. So we can go ahead and close up this cargo door and then call for our push tug. ground power unit. Hello Captain. We are ready for push back. And we can like come on. Alright, we'll force our checklist. Copper prep is completed. Fuel quantity is thirty six thousand one hundred twenty pounds. Takeoff data is set. Landing elevation Locked that's set. Gear. Altimeters is three zero point zero nine. Breaking anti skid normal and on. Windows and doors are closed. Beacon light is on and parking brake is as required. Release parking brake. Release parking brakes. Commencing push. Due to icing conditions, please stand by until push is completed and brakes are set. Alright, we're going to start up engine number two. Twenty percent and two. Introduce fuel. We start on engine number two. Starting engine one. Left is clear. Right is clear. Okay, Introducing we'll fuel. Uh, we'll north and south. Engine ignition switch can go off. AP bleed's gonna come off, as well as the master switch. Gonna get turn offs our taxi lights no mic can come off as well flaps and slats to 15 we're going to do a flight control test Flight controls are free and correct. Gonna arm our spoilers. And auto brake can go to max. You're ready to text. Parking brake can come off. It should start moving by itself. After start, pitch trim is set, rudder trim is zero, spoilers are armed, slats and flaps are 15, ecam status is checked, anti-ice is as required, and our hand signal is received. We're going to taxi to runway 25. So we've got another company, uh, A300 here. So it looks like we have quite the long taxi ahead of us. We're going to take a mic all the way up, cut through the terminals, and then, and then take golf to runway 25. Alright, we're almost to runway 25. Let's get our strobe lights on. We can come on, landing lights. And our nose is going to go to takeoff. TCAS is going to go to TAR. Right, both those are checked. Briefing is confirmed. Our V speeds, uh, we have 150, 
163, flaps and slats are 15, and takeoff config is normal. Transponder is set, and TCAS is TRA. Alright, lining up here. Alright, we're ready for takeoff. Let's pull up to 40%. Start our chrono. Our set. Airspeed's alive. Knots. Twenty four eighty five high speed, Mike Bravo, November. Here, Mike Bravo, November. Tower speed, now twenty eight thirty on the visual one six left. The twenty eight thirty different tower, when one eight zero one one, when one six left, but away. Good man, one six left, twenty eight thirty one. Rotate. Positive rate, gear up. Two twelve eighty runway eight, come take off. Wind one eight zero one zero. We're gonna go flap zero. Still hands flying. Here, 4989, every car, runway 17 left, taxi via Mike Echo Delta. Mike Echo Delta. Get autopilot on. Uh, 49. Pressure 4989, actually taxi via Lima Echo Delta. After takeoff checklist, slats and flaps are retracted, landing gear is up. And neutral packs are on and ultimatums are set. Just gotta drop this in the neutral position. There's downtown Denver to our left. Start to see some fireworks as well for New Year's. Pretty cool. All right, we're passing through 16,000. We can go ahead and get our landing lights off. Wing and our nose light as well. Runway turn offs. And so we should be cruising over the mountains uh, for most of this flight. Passing through 18,000 almost. We can get standard set already. Alright, we've reached our cruising altitude of flight level 360. I will get back to you guys when we are a couple miles from our top of the descent into Ontario.
we are nearing our top of descent here. So double check our arrival. All right, so for our arrival, we're going to be using the Jackie Two. You can see our altitudes there. Our final approach course is going to be 258 degrees, and our ILS is going to be 11 1.35. So we'll get 258 set here. And 101.35. And we're going to get follow the 240 set initially for our descent out to T. Alright, we've started our descent. Speed break out. Right, we should be at flight level 240 at Pierce. Looks like we're on profile pretty well. Gonna get 10,000 sets in the MCP. Zero one zero is going to be the alternative for Ontario. We're going to do our descent checklist while we're here. Right, signs are set. Briefing is confirmed. ECAM status is checked. Altimeters have not been set yet. We can do that once we hit 18,000 feet. Minimums are set and ignition is continuous relight. Any elevation is set. Right, we're almost at 18,000. We can go ahead and set. Uh, Somewhere it's going to be 3010. Alright, it's very important that we maintain our altitudes here because I do see that horizon of the mountain line uh, right before the airport to make sure we, we're not hitting that. Alright, 12,000 feet. Uh, we're just gonna get our landing lights, the rest of our lights on. Runway turn offs, um, wing. And once we get our gear down, we can turn on our nose light to uh, take off. This is going to come off. We're going to get 5,000 sets. Passing right over these mountains. And we start descending and slowing up once we get over these. This is uh, 4329 clear drive, Julian. Right, I'm going to set 7,000. I'm going to slow up to 210 knots. Some drag, gonna set 5,000. See all the fireworks off of our nose. I get 180. 
slash 15. Final approach speed is going to get set. It's going to drag. Flaps full. Going to gear down. I'm going to take over on the controls are a little too high. Down, auto brake is low, anti skid is checked, slats and flaps are 30 and 40, and our spoilers. Spoilers come. Alright, we're on profile, let's keep that speed in. Manual braking, and yeah, we're going to take this exit right here. Welcome to Ontario. Flaps up. That was like the taxi, strobe lights off. Maybe master switch is gonna come on. And we're gonna set up right here. We can get the brake fan on and we can turn off our taxi light. Alright, once we pull into here. So we got a heavy company, 747-AF. Brakes are set and APU is running. Shut down engines one and two.
Seat belts can come off. All of our pumps. And we can get our dome light on. Beacon light can come off as well. We can get our lights on in here. Go ahead and open up that door. Alright, here comes the cargo. Alright, I hope you guys really enjoyed that flight from Denver to Ontario. It was a bit rough performance wise, but um, other than that, it was a really fun flight. Got to see the uh, fireworks for New Year's. And yeah, this is probably going to be my last video of 2023, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you like the video and comment any suggestions you have for further flights in the future. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.